I've always seen my parents as my main influencers. I've always been very close to my family, so when I started travelling, I always found it really hard. So the first couple of years were really tough, and that's probably also one of the reasons I was like, do I want to continue doing this? I love travelling the world, but not by myself. So when I met Richard, I started to realise, OK, this is what I want, this is my lifestyle, this is what I want to do. You can be at the race thinking, wow, there's so many other good girls. I should be able to at least be in the top. That's definitely a mental challenge, yeah. The biggest challenge now is something which you don't often hear at it saying, but it's the mental aspect of racing, that you feel like you have to perform. It's a sensitive thought. <laughs> Sorry. Because I want to perform, I want to be the best athlete, I want to be on that podium. Even the negative things in your life will actually bring you further. That's why you will always have to keep going. If I doubt if this is what I should have done, then I think, you know what, I made this decision a couple of years ago to focus on training and I'm happy I did it. It's a beautiful life and I would never have wanted to miss out. I want to be remembered as someone who was actually an inspiration for other people. That's priority. Make people happy and also show people, hey, it's not just for men, it's if we can also do it. We've got the same distance, we get the same prize money. Show people we're equal. <laughs>